Hi everybody! So, I thought I'd do a video update. I have some things to show you that are pretty cool, and it'll come across better in video than it will in pictures. Um, first thing is, I showed you some pictures of the uh, early metals, and I'm getting stuff back now. So, um, I got a couple different finishes. Um, this one is sandblasted. It looks good, but it actually is really like sandpapery feeling. Um, I've got a few that are unfinished aluminum. Looks nice. And the one I like best um, has been tumbled and anodized. So it's hard to tell, but the tumbling gives it this really soft texture. It feels nice. It's almost like... It's hard to say. It's almost got like kind of a waxy softness to it. Anyway, but it's still, you know, solid piece of metal. Um, I've got... Let's see. The uh, paddles are all done, so I've got two big huge bags of paddles, and right here we have the, uh, the first of the production metals. So this one's a little bit different from the other two, or other three I just showed you. Um, a few little things have been fixed, uh, things have been tightened up. Anyway, so it looks great, I'm super happy with it, and I think you guys will be too. Um, so. I'm going to go with the tumbled and anodized finished on it, finish on it. Um, while I'm here though, I've also got some stuff hooked up to it. So let me show you what's going on here. Um, so I needed to make sure that the paddle design was going to work. The way, it, the way it functions right now is there are slots built into the PCB and the paddles, sorry, the paddles, uh, fit down into those slots and when you move the paddle it touches either the either side of the slot and that makes the circuit. So what I've done here is I've tied LEDs to the to the two positions that each paddle has. So as you can see when you click it toggles it from one position to the other. So I kind of made a reference to this in one of the previous posts. These paddles unlike normal paddles don't just have they're not open and then they click shut. What they are is they're, they're in one position, they float, and then they hit the other position. So they're actually dual throw switches. Um, the advantage of that is it really simplifies the debouncing code. So when, uh, as soon as the switch touches the other side, the microcontroller knows without question that the switch has been flipped with Normal debouncing, you have to wait a little while to make sure that you've got it. Um, and then the reverse holds true. The other advantage of that is if the contacts are dirty at all, you can kind of adjust for that, which actually is apparently going to be a bit of a problem with this design. Um, anyway, if there's improvements on it, I'll try to make those, but for now this is probably how they're going to work. Anyway, um, they're kind of nice, they have a nice tactile feel. I don't have the springs for them yet, I still need to order those. Um, this other stuff on the PCB is some circuits I've been testing for possible improvements to the radio. I'm actually just about ready to kick off the second prototype of uh, this component test board that I'm working on. So, anyway, um, I'm hoping to squeeze a lot of these improvements into the design that ships to you guys. Um, I would be curious to get feedback from you to know if Basically, are you more concerned about getting the radio as soon as possible or about getting with any additional improvements that I can squeeze in? And if that were to cause a delay of a month or two, would that be infuriating or would you guys be okay with that? So anyway, leave comments uh, below. That'd be really helpful. Any other news? Um... Oh, I don't know if you can see it on my screen where I positioned the uh, camera. But I've got the knobs being produced too. So I went with a I went with a knurled design that just looks awesome. I don't have any prototypes yet, but I looked at other work by the same guy, and it looks great. A few other things. Um, so the place I was going to use for PCB production here in Utah, he's actually started going into rather than doing contract manufacturing for other people, he's now manufacturing his own products which means he doesn't have time to do my stuff. Uh, but I've already found a better, well, another place that actually looks like it's better equipped, so the boards will still be excellent quality, 
they'll still be produced locally, which will make it faster and easier for me to make any sort of corrections that I need to do. So um, I've got quotes for them. They're just waiting for me to pull the trigger. So as soon as my additions to the design are ready, then, uh, then we can do that. And one of the piece of news, I will be having, well, me and my wife will be having our first baby very soon, any day now. So wish us luck. And if I, if I disappear for a week, then that's why. Um, anyway, thanks again for all your support. You guys are awesome. And let me know what you think. Thanks.